Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another uh, turn resolution for War in the Pacific Admirals edition. This is Friedrich with May 5, 1942. I literally have no idea what's going to happen this turn. We have some bombers doing some stuff and some subs not so much. Anyway, so I have, but I, like I say, if there's any ground combat or other air combat or naval combat, I just no idea what we're going to encounter here. Okay. But we're whipping on Mark 14s as expected. And the castle main is uh, firing some depth charges at the I-28 here off of Sydney. I mean... Okay. And... Torpedoes, of course, miss this destroyer. So our subs have been very lackluster this turn so far. Well, I was hoping to get some night bombing in, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Except for this right here, but, mm, you know, this was just kind of a, a hope, you know, just shoot, shoot up in the air and hope something lands. Because it's a night mission and we've only got 64%, that was kind of what that was all about. And we got some B-26s hitting Kumak uh, to no effect. And some B-25s. And these Falcons, you know, we're, we're trying to hit this base a little bit force him to use supplies to fix it up um so we have a night mission here and he decided to finally put up nightcap uh, you know nightcap is really hard so i don't know what we're gonna do here but i thought we would just bomb it anyway just in case um and nothing comes of it the only thing we saw is a damaged oscar and now he's got a few Oscars already in the sky. Now we take a damaged Wellington. And he has a damaged Oscar. Okay. So, mm, I don't know. Let's see if we can get something on the ground. Nope. Well, that's a shame, but we'll keep it going. And that's a shame as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because these aircraft are a bit more fragile than the heavy bombers. Because we're going to do a daylight raid with our B-17s. See if we can damage what's in the port. Hey, we got one of all that. Two runway hits of all those waves. That's okay. We had a lot of aircraft stray as well. Now, if we don't see any fighters when we bomb during the day, uh, well, we're going to have to wreck it tomorrow. We may have to rest our aircraft, actually. I think it wouldn't hurt to rest our stuff. Okay, the I-121 is here by Rangoon. Good stuff. The I-30 here by Brisbane. And the Punjab doesn't find it. All right, the I-5 is here between Johnston and Pearl. 
Um, as you can see here, he's got two subs here. There was one up here. He certainly has a lot of subs here. He's trying to keep us away from or hit us while we're on our way to Johnston. He uh, obviously he knows that's our objective. We've got troops there. All right, so we know where his carriers are, which means we also know where they aren't. All right, Monado, the usual bombing there. One damaged aircraft. A heavily beat up airfield. I saw Babs look snooping around at Denny. Okay, check this out. No cap. We could have done a daylight raid. And we hit the Yugao. Yay. I was hoping we'd get that ship. Uh, or whatever other ships are in there. Um, two 500 pound bombs into that ship. Yeah, it sunk. Okay. Um,. Supply hits, port hits. He's moved on. This may be KB right here. We can slide into... Uh, I, I think we have the run of the island now, but let's take a look when we're done with this. Okay. The LB-30s have flown. We're trying to beat up their ground troops a little bit more. He lost a gun and some disabled units. I think I know why he's shuffling his KB around, and I'll talk about that here when we get done with this. All right, we're in the PM phase, still snooping his carriers. Or shadowing. And he's checking out in Denny. He probably wants to know if he can invade it or, you know, what our strength is there. That's fine. Okay, though, I-174. Again, sitting in here along this route okay I mean it looks like the best ASW we can do is have him waste torpedoes because we're not we're not getting any hits on these subs lately um, I was going to equate it to a cat and mouse game but I think I, I don't still don't know which one of us is the mouse and which one of us is the cat because it feels like even his subs are cats to our destroyers, our ASW ships. Okay, Wen Chao, the usual expected bombardment happening there, and that's it. Rangoon is up to five fortifications. That's great. That's going to be hard, a tough nut to crack. And if his focus is going to be on Australia, maybe we can really reinforce Rangoon and um, and build that base up and just hold it for the rest of the war. Hmm, that's worth thinking about. I have I have a whole I have at least a division of British troops coming to Burma. Um, okay, I will. Uh, let's take a look at this turn. Okay, I kind of wanted to start here. Uh, I wanted to look at our TOE is way as way below what I what it would you know ideal. Obviously, we do have some forts here from just sitting here. 
So that's pretty good. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, the AV has gone up, I believe. Actually, I can't remember what it was last turn. Uh, but again, we've got reinforcements about to head over. This is our amphibious task force. That... Seriously, can't dock. Well, we're going to... If anything is docked, we are undocking it for sure. Okay. All right, good. We can dock and we can unload. I'm going to, this will only take a turn to unload. Um, uh, I'm going to see if we can load troops even with that full. Let's just take a look here. Johnston. No, not that, not that. Okay. Let's, let's look at what I want to move over there. Uh, this combat engineer regiment and okay where's our where's our guys is this it uh hmm. I really feel like we need to unload because these are pretty full. Um, anyway, I'll take a look at that. In the meantime, if the if you know something goes amiss, um, we're we're docked and we're unloading. So worst case scenario, we'll unload. But but see here. Um, uh, keep clicking. Okay. Uh, see here. 30,000 out of 52,000. So it's going to be a challenge. Well, um, I mean, this should only take seven. Well, right here, 7,700 load cost. I, I think we should be able to fit everything. This is pretty, this is pretty big, though. I, let's see, 10. Yeah, we should be able to fit everything. I'll tinker with that in a, uh, in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel pretty good about our situation here. Um, let's try to unload this. Nope. Just for um, kicks. Still three days. Still on the same timetable. Um, we got carriers. Are we spotted yet? Nope. Um... So I think, I, man, he. I wonder if he has a sixth sense because, yeah, we haven't found him yet. Let's let's go right between these two islands here. See if we spot his ships dilly dallying in this area. Um, our our um, spotters. Might would know if he's up, wouldn't know if he's up here. Might know if he's here. But we'll come down here. If we don't see anything, I might ex ex excursion back up a bit and and check it out. Uh, but yeah, I think we're okay. We're okay there. Plus, we again we know where KB is and where it isn't. So as long as he stays over here. All right, that brings me to what I'm thinking is happening here. Um, I'm thinking he's he's escorting this up. All by the way, hundred percent conjecture, and also hundred percent upset that none of these subs got in anything. Um, I'm thinking he's bringing. Uh, I'm thinking he's bringing these troops, uh, probably to camp cans maybe to cooktown but i'm feeling a little lucky and i'm ready to go in to efate so let's do that 
Remain on station, unload. Yeah, I think we should be okay doing that. Um, he's he's um, trying to stay away from our subs here. We still have a couple of subs up in this area. Um, well, that's not true. This one is not going to be going. I may have to transition some of these. This guy... I may have to tinker with some of these routes. We do have subs up here, though. So as he comes up here, we might be able to do something here. But so far, our subs, you know, have been a little lackluster. Now, we were able to finish off that destroyer that got hit by the mine. He probably doesn't care about that. So on that note, let's take a look at how much it cost us this turn to do all of our missions. One operational loss, he lost five. Let's take a look at what old. Okay. Four Sally's. Probably shuffling some around, maybe. I don't know. And two Oscars. The Oscars. Um, where did we encounter? Okay. Those two Oscars. Possibly he lost them landing up at um, Chiang Mai. We lost a Hudson. Probably that night bombing raid up there as well. We took some damage and maybe on landing we crashed. Um, but this is five and this is six. Um, not sure which one is accurate, but let's see if we lost a pilot. No, our pilot is good. So he can fly to, you know, today or tomorrow, whenever we go again with that group, uh, provided we have a plane for him. And now let's look at ship sunk. It should show the destroyer because, you know, and it doesn't. Hmm, I think I know why. Because it was already showing destroyed. No. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Um, so it's not listed here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I was just kind of curious the points and so forth um but yeah so oh very light losses for both sides we we sank a ship and we damaged well he lost five at least five aircraft we lost one so this was this turn was slightly in our favor everything else points to just kind of a continual slow grind we're probably both jockeying for various positions. Um, I'm not going to jockey against this bad boy at this time, though. But like I say, I think he's just flying cap here and just maybe slowly heading um, this direction um, to bring these guys in. Now, I wouldn't tell him this, but he could invade like these bases anything from Bowen down to Maryborough Maryborough are all in danger and we can't do anything about it now he, he would also have uh, challenges supplying it I, I honestly don't know what he's gonna do the best I can do is try to react to his his actions but I, I'm coming over here because I wanted to get my eyeballs all right, so I want to check this out. Um, 118, if we're going six hexes per turn, that's 20 days. It'll take us 20 days to get this division to Australia. That feels like a, a lifetime. By the time it gets there, it's going to basically be June. And then, uh, you know, and unloaded as well. And not only unloaded, but unpacked. So, uh, yeah, he could do a lot in 20 days or 25 30 days anyway um we're just trying to keep i mean i can't only think of australia i've got to prep all these bases and be ready for you know whatever's coming next um so we're in good position we're gonna bombard this soon not not this turn um okay it, it, it just <laughs> It's hard to be patient because each turn is a day and 
I just want to have all this stuff move on. But if you're patient, sometimes you can be rewarded. And that's what I'm trying to do. Now, back down here. Uh, so he built this up to airfield level two, but there's no air aircraft here. Um, not sure what that's all about, but I might just keep hitting this uh, now with all of our bombers, provided they're not over fatigued. We're just going to do daylight raids and hit this base um, as much as possible. Just a ton. Because uh, I want to make it uh, extremely difficult for him to maintain this base. And these troops should just over, just, um, you know, what I, it's possible he didn't pick up any supply. You know, he only picked up troops. And if that's the case, then... Um, then he may have a lot of supply still here and we'll, we'll bomb it. And you know, he still has a significant number of troops to burn through supply. Um, and we have now the American division, which is over 300 AV still seems kind of weak, but it's almost full. So I don't know in any case, uh, we could sit, certainly park here and um, challenge his position, and it's times two terrain. So I believe we could probably hold against, especially if we brought some tank units with us. So we could hold that against, like, bring up a tank battalion or something. Now that weakens this, so this base here. So we're not in a rush to do that. I have the 41st Division. Uh, I believe it's the 41st. Yes sitting here waiting for me to buy it out um it's going to take probably two more turns as soon as i start buying out these regiments i, I call them regiments because it's basically a third of a division we can buy them out and start sh shuffling them down there the av here is like 375 a little bit more actually and then we can get those troops down to numea and start working our way up to kumak and recapture that base. Um, I, the the goal here is just to make this challenging enough that he thinks twice about attacking it. Now he still could attack at any time, but my point is that he'll have to bring a significant unit. A regiment might take it, although it's times two terrain, and we've got level three forts, uh, so it's not going to be too easy to take. But um, this this is very strong. 348 uh, times also times two and level three, almost level four. And then as we know, these are really high level fortifications, and both both bases are times three. So really, it's Australia. That's what I'm most concerned about right now. But I still have to be cognizant of all the other bases. Um, okay. Looking here, looks like he's shuff he's still moving troops out of Serbia, which of course he would, and then just wreck the rest of the island. Um, what I was saying before, he, I, I have ships here. We now have these ships. I was thinking about bombarding this even, um, bombarding Mull Mine, and just had and beat up that base right um i don't know what he has here if anything but I, I i do plan to bombard this but what i what i'm trying to consider is if we should the british that are moving to occupy positions here maybe i should just move them down like through here or here and like get up get up in his rear area because we could look at that we could we could cross over here now he has a lot of potentially a lot of tanks uh which we could bomb out but um let's 
So yeah, I think uh, it's worth it's worth looking into the option of hitting this. Um, bring some British. Uh, let's see, what, what do we have moving here? Like this Rico. I mean, it's just Rico and cars. It looks like so. We really we really don't have armor here. Let's see, look, um, AFB's ninety six. He's got double that, and his are probably actual tanks. So crossing the river into that hex might be dangerous. Get beat up by tanks. Now, um, that doesn't have anything in it. We have a whole British brigade here, which we could use. Um, so I'll, I'll get situated here, and then I'll consider what my options are. Uh, I have some Chinese units that I could also bring into the fray. Uh, I, I need to buy them out. Because of our house rule, I'm not going to cross this boundary here until I buy out my Chinese units. These are going because they're already bought out. So that's fine. Um, and then it looks like he's making, he's, he's extending his wall of troops up this way. Not exactly. I guess he's just trying to keep us from infiltrating around like we are. I'm sending just a small cavalry unit, and I want to see what he has up here. Um, okay. But yes, so, you know, I just wanted to cover some of these things. I'm going to wrap it up. I, I'm going to wrap it up, but I might look around just a little bit more and see if I'm missing something because I don't want to cut it too short. Uh, we had some bombing of this base here just to beat it up. I think we only got one hit there, if that. Um, uh, not really much going on. Darwin even. Uh, but let's see. Okay, so his troops showed up here. Okay, and I don't know what he has, but I plan to just, I'm going to leave my troops here. Okay, um, they're, they're fortified, so they're okay. They're going to hold for a little bit longer. And I'm picking up, I'm picking up the pieces. So far we have, well, let's take a look here. So far we have, for aviation support. Um, that's not enough to bring any of these guys over, but we'll just slowly keep bringing aviation support and whatever else we can pick up. And then when he punches us out of here, you know, it's going to take some oomph to do that. Uh, um, we'll, we'll get knocked. Let's see. It's jungle times two plus, you know, fortifications. But when we get knocked out of here, we'll possibly retreat here. And we'll keep picking up and start walking back. I doubt he'll chase us, but he could. It's clear. But we'll be out, and he'll have to walk through jungle to get there. Let's see. Yeah. And we could just start walking back and eventually get here while we're also picking up. And then also I plan to get these air units back out of uh, off of Horn Island. Maybe get them here and just be looking... Because we can still look up here and out here with um, having him in Normanton. Uh, and I feel very precarious about our situation here. We don't have a lot of aircraft holding that holding cap here or even here. And really, we're, uh, we have nothing down here. He, I hope he doesn't know that. And it looks like he doesn't know that about there. Or here. So, because uh, if he brought KB here, he could just wreck both of these bases pretty badly. Um, I mean, we, we could quickly shift a bunch of fighters over. Uh, and that's, of course, what I would end up doing. Now, we do have the 67th Pursuit Squadron there. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's time to... Time to really hit this base now that he's leaving. Um, we could just, just just demolish this. 
Um, we got we're rebuilding our air force here, getting getting it back in order. Um, and he hasn't messed with either, any of these three. Now he he won't just bomb this just to bomb it. Uh, we're we're safe here for the time being, um, because there's no base to bomb, and he's not going to bomb this base because these are um, somewhat intimidating. I think I want to say, but what I'm up okay. If these had flown, okay, let's take a look. The, the range is seven. If our A24s had flown, they would have been wiped out. I'm sure he has zeros flying over this. So that's what I mean. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be smart about this. Okay. Now would one or two maybe get through? I don't even know if that would happen, because we have twenty six, uh, thirty one banshees, and he probably has like fifty zeros capping this, and he could just destroy all of our all of our dive bombers. Uh, and I would probably want to use them as dive bombers, so that means I'd be up at pro about 15,000 feet, which is probably where he's capping, which would mean, you know, we'd get shot up. And then moving back over this direction, just checking things out, um, we have 203 assault value here. He did have someone preparing for Nadi. I mean, if he takes this, it's a, it's a, it's going to be a walk-in. We ha may have a little bit of fortification here. But, I mean, if he brings a regiment, this is going to fall. Now, this will hold for against a division. But by having this base, now that's only air capacity of two. And I'm trying to locate our B-7, our heavy bombers. I mean, I'd like to build this base up, too. And uh, heavy bombers could park here and pretty much hit Kumak not, and uh, Nadi. You know, any of these, maybe even, yeah, check that out, even Tulagi. Well, preferably, preferably Luganville. Um, but that's 16 away from Nadi. This is already, uh, no, sorry, air capacity three, okay, which we're building up maybe for him to his benefit. But, um, yeah, so, um, anyway. We're, we're dropping off some aircraft here. I'm gonna shuffle. I'm try to shuffle them west. Get them over. Get them over into this into this general area. Um, I'm really wanting to give a lot of pushback from here west uh, or northwest, I should say. And I'd really like to take Kumak back. Um, Canton. You know, we're we're just uh, training these aircraft because eventually we're gonna we're gonna want to be bombing this. Um, yeah, I, there's not much else to talk. There's really not much. I mean, I've probably not been talking very much informative information as it is, but there's not much more to talk about in, in any case. Um, it's it was a, fortunately it was a pretty quiet turn. Um, one thing I'm highly considering is bringing some more mines here and getting an ACM here because we've got 25 defensive mines. If I could get an ACM here, it would at least make this very, um, less likely to be challenged there. Uh, like if he does an invasion of Nadi, that's one thing, but then when he's doing some amphibious related stuff in here or bringing supplies... Maybe he get, could lose some ships, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, not a bad turn. As allies, quiet turns are good turns. But thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, some pushback. But I'm very wary because, you know, I've had some challenge. I've had some negative um, results lately with a couple of attacks that I've made that I'm probably going to be a little bit more cautious with the assets I have. Um, and uh, we'll wait till we get more reinforcements here because I don't want to be caught empty-handed here. Um, but also, one other thing. 
Also, after the Division 32nd Division unloads here, what I'm probably going to do is bring my ships back to Numea and pick up um, pick up some units that are marked earmarked for um, Eastern Australia uh, because we do have some stuff that needs to go to Brisbane and Sydney. Because you know these are things I moved here before he invaded Australia, but now that he's invaded Australia, I I feel like I need to get these things back over to Australia. Um, you know and, and like this base force, it'd be nice to increase what we've got going here. Um, this is just an independent company. It's if if we find an opening, if we find an opening to airdrop, paradrop anything into these dot bases, I, I I'd have to know for sure he has nothing there. But I think it'd be kind of nice to like threaten his rear lines, make him think twice. Uh, make him feel nervous, feel like he needs to recapture them. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, this is probably the two battleships we hit. One of them by a tour, uh, or both. We hit, we hit two battleships, I think. I can't remember how we hit the second one. I honestly can't remember. Um, maybe we only hit one, but anyway, this is probably heading back for repairs. Um, the game told me it sank, but yeah, there's no way. Uh, but anyway, again, thanks. I, I hope you take care, have a good eat, have a good rest of your day, and um, look forward to revisiting the game when we talk about May 6th, the resolution, and hopefully we have some good things happening Um next time or another quiet turn anyway take care everyone see you next time bye